DC is doing something with their animation that's really never been done before. What's good everybody, my name is Josh aka Jace the Don, welcome back to the channel. And yes, we're going to be talking about the DC Universe and DC Animation. So if you're new here and you like what you see so far, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. It really does help out the channel. So today was the day of the DC Slate. We were revealed a lot of stuff for the cinema as well as TV shows. And one of the things got, that got revealed to us is Creature Commandos, which is an upcoming animated DC series. And basically Creature Commandos, and this article is coming from Collider.com. I'll have a dis link in the description below for you to check out the article. And Basically, it says that Creature Commandos will kick off with Amanda Waller, once again played by Viola Davis, creating a Black Ops team formed by the monstrous creatures. During the press conference, in which the future of DC was revealed, Saffron praised Gunn's writing of the series and stated that he staggered at the caliber of the scripts. We'll see how everything else comes, but the screenplays are amazing. And you're probably asking, okay, what does this have to do with DC Animation? What does this have to do with DC? Well, I actually have a clip of James Gunn talking more about Creature Commandos and also the state of animate the DC Animation and as well as connecting with DC. Hit the clip. First project is Creature Commandos. Creature Commandos is an animated series. I've written all the episodes. Something we're gonna do that's a little bit different at DC is we're gonna have characters move into animation, out of animation, usually having the same actor play their voice as who plays them in live action. And yeah, we are back. And that's that's actually a crazy like idea. I, I Again, I've never seen a studio decide to take you know their properties, their live action properties, and interconnect them and intertwine them with the animation projects. That's gonna be really cool. Um, it's cool that they're going to try to get cast who can also voice the characters, but as well as play the characters live action. I think they should have done that a long time ago. And I'm just thinking about all the possibilities we could have had. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Could you imagine if James Gunn would have taken over DC a long time ago? We could have gotten that Kevin Conroy Batman in live action. That would have been so cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. That would have been so cool. Tara Strong as Harley Quinn too, like... Mark Hamill as the Joker, like there's so many possibilities if yet James Gunn or someone would have had this intertwining idea before. We would, have a, we would have had a lot of crazy ideas. And all of this ties into one big multiverse that DC is trying to set themselves up for with their upcoming slate and for the future. And it's really exciting. Uh, I've said it before, I'm a big Marvel fan, but I love DC as well. And I wanna see both Marvel and DC win because a lot of people have been giving them crap. Superhero movies, are just as important as every other genre of movie, I feel in my opinion. And I just want to see that genre succeed for how long they want to keep it going for. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about this? Are you excited about Creature Commandos? Are you excited about the future of DC Animation and the future of DC of the DC Universe? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. It really does help out the channel. Big love to you all and peace out.